Okay, sticking with the theme, today I'm re reviewing Mythos Tales. This is the first edition, however, I believe the only difference between this and the second edition is it fixes some typos. So everything else remains the same. So Mythos Tales came out, I believe, 2017. Eighth Summit game, so it's a successful Kickstarter. What I'll do is I'll give you a brief overview of what's in the box and how the game's played. So we start with introduction. This is basically a rule book, and as you can see, it's very, very brief. So this game is played mainly in this book or on this map and a few other areas. So what do we get? We get a map of Arkham. So we get different areas, Independent Square, Northside Park. These are the kind of landmarks, but it is split up into different sectors as well, which help you when you're looking for things. R, F, L. It's got some main high streets, but it's a decent map. And I will, at the end of this, draw on some very obvious kind of crossover with Sherlock Holmes Consultant Detective. So we've got that. We've got the Arkham Massachusetts directory. And for you millennials out there, um, what the phone directory is and what these were before there was even wide, widespread use of the telephones. The directory would give you a list of the people in the area shops in the area and in the phone books it would give you their phone number and here it's giving you map locations and addresses so the idea is that if you find clues about someone here you look them up on the map as well as in this book this is the investigation book <clears throat> so this is where the majority of the game is getting played so how it breaks down is This gives you a, a kind of an introduction to HP Lovecraft and that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. So this is the first investigation, a grain of evil. So I will ask you to not look too closely if you don't want anything spoiled for you. But what it will do is it'll give you some information about a case. Professor Harry, uh, Henry Armitage, who is a kind of, at least in this book, um, a bit of a Sherlock Holmes imitation. He's going to give you some information about a case that's going on at the moment. He's going to give you times and locations and names of peoples and potentially some hints for you to, uh, to look at. You're going to take some notes of all the information that you find out. And then he's going to give you that information and then let you loose on the case. What you're going to do is you're going to take the information that you learn. You will find people or shops or, or landmarks in the directory. You will look it up on the map or you will find it in the next pages. And what the next pages do, without spoiling anything, is they'll give you references. So if you know that you need to find someone, let's say it's P. O'Connor, he can be found in F25. And F25 is going to relate to a map reference, potentially a location in the investigation. And so you'll find that. I don't know if he's, he's actually he's actually not in this investigation. You're going to find that, and it might give you some information that's going to help you in your case. As you pick up clues. You will record them in your investigation record booklet, which will basically, you'll fill out locations, whatever evidence you found, any leads you found. If you're drawing a blank and you can't find anything else, you can check the local newspapers. The papers will give you whatever the news is this day. So generally, it will be the newspaper the day after a crime has been committed. So this might give us some clues, it gives us more information about the case. And all of these newspaper articles are, are kind of um, 
they're in date order. So this one is 30th of June 1929, the next one is 16th of Jan 1930, and then the next one is May 1937. But what is interesting is, if you do the first mission, first investigation, it will give you the, the newspaper relating to that. But later investigations, there may be information in previous maps from previous days that are going to help you on your way. That's interesting. So next of all, we've got here, I haven't punched these, I, I, I'm going to leave these, I use different tokens for it. But basically this is you tracking the amount of time it's taking you to, to, to do your investigations. So effectively you've got seven days and you've got three different investigations a day. So it gives you up to 21. It may be reduced on the criteria for the mission, that kind of thing. It may not be. Finally, and I keep these in here, these are kind of investigation points. So you may visit a location, let me give you a clue. You'll take the clue, it will just be a, a numbered card, and you'll write whatever that clue is on your investigation book. And it will just help you to track the... Uh, to track your clues and try to help you help you help you in the investigation is 19 of these in total. Finally, what you get in the book, faceless expedition. So it's just an extra mission. Now, in terms of quality of components, the cards are very good. The punch board is thick enough and seems pretty good. These get used a lot. And they are quite thin, so I worry about how these are going to stand up over use. That's okay. I really, really like this book. It's really, really cool. It comes with a bookmark to help you with whatever you invest, you know, keep track of what, what investigation you're on next. The map doesn't feel of the time. This does not feel like a map you would get in the 1930s um, I think a lot more work could have been done on this to make it look more like a map of the day but I like the directory pretty straightforward so the game itself I really enjoy I really like these kind of deduction style games where you're looking for clues you're finding information you're, you're deducting from Distance on maps that might look to a time frame. Maybe, you know, someone gets stabbed in a park and then someone was seen running five minutes away or, or, or five minutes later. You could check the distance on your map to see could I, could that person run that far in five minutes to, to see if you're going to kind of pursue the investigation there. You will take descriptions of people that are given to the police. You will match that against what you might find in various locations when you, when you, uh, visit them on the map it's really really good now as good as i think it is and as good as it generally is it is without a doubt a rehash of sherlock holmes consultant detective so just to give you a side by side in this game these are a lot of print and play missions that i've printed myself In this game, you'll get a map, and quite frankly, a much better map than what we've got in Mythos Tales. You'll get newspapers, and I'm afraid to say, better newspapers than we get in Mythos Tales. We'll get missions, which are done differently, so they're in their own little book as opposed to this hardback. And I have to say, I prefer the little books because, you know, you can fold them round, you can do whatever you need to. You get a directory. So almost all of the components available in here are identical to what we've got in here. The only things that are different is we've got the item cards or the clue cards that we get in here and we get the, um, the time track. Now, if you were to look on the Kickstarter page for Mythos Tales, they are very, very upfront about the fact that their game 
is heavily um, inspired by Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. And that's a good thing because this is a great game. And this is a great game as well. I would urge everyone to at least have a look at this. If you don't like Sherlock Holmes Consulted Detective, this is not going to float your boat. You're not going to like this either. But if you like that kind of game, you're looking for a different flavour, and you know, and if even if you just like anything kind of Arkham Horror or H.P. Lovecraft related, definitely take a look at this game. Um, if you are on the fence with it, if you go on the board game geek and look up a game called Arkham Investigator, that was that was what this game was going to be called before it changed to Mythos Tales. And you'll be able to print off two missions from uh, from the file section of Board Game Geek, uh, and I and I recommend you do because that's how I got into that's how I got into this game. I printed those off and absolutely loved them, and bought this game afterwards. So this game definitely gets a thumbs up for me, especially if you get the second edition, which has got um, some spelling corrections and a few errata and that kind of stuff. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, give us a like. If you didn't, let me know why. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Like and subscribe. See ya.